I'm going to do a simple uh, antenna test for airband reception between three popular um, antennas. It's going to be on the Baofeng 5RM radio. I use it since it's probably the most popular radio right now. I'm um, going to compare the stock antenna to the uh, Abri AR-188 tactical antenna and then the Nogoya um, antenna here. This is the NA320A antenna. It's a tri-band antenna which is tends to be a little more suited for air band um, but we're gonna see how well this does with the stock antenna I'm right on the fringe of being able to receive this tower it's uh, a tower that's about six miles away uh, but it's a real windy day the weather's a little rough and uh, so it puts me at a at a section where it sort of things will come in and out and you can tell how well the reception changes on these um, I'm gonna compare these in the video and then I'm gonna test them by myself independently just on multiple times to see if it gets the same results where it'll uh, just in this short video it's hard to get a, a good idea but I'm gonna test it in the video uh, see if I get the same results in the long run and let you know how well it does so I'm gonna give these a shot here Already right, got the radio on. This is the stock antenna. Like I said, the uh, radio tower, airport tower, is not too far away. So, like I looked at earlier, sort of cuts in and out at this distance with the stock antenna. Sometimes it'll work for a little bit, sometimes it cuts in and out like that. Uh, if you put your hand on it, holding it, get a little better reception with it. But it tends to cut in and out like that, unless I'm holding it, and it still cuts in and out even if I'm holding it. I'm going to take the stock antenna off. I'm going to test the Bree AR tactical antenna. This is a much shorter antenna. It's got a loop inside of it and it's made to uh, supposedly pick up further away um, but keep a shorter lower profile with it. And like I said, these two are dual band antennas, whereas the other one's a tri band. Um, but the dual bands tend to pick up uh, air band fine if you're with in range of them you tend to just have more issues when you're on the outskirts like I am now. Clemson, South Carolina. Automated weather observation. One, seven, zero, two, Zulu. Wind, two, so it seems eight, to be two, picking up a little bit four, better than the stock three, antenna. Four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, one, four Celsius. Dew point, zero, one Celsius. Now so it seems to be two, doing nine, better nine, than the stock four, antenna, four, but Get a little more interference when my hands on it. Actually, does better without having my hand on it. I'm gonna try the tri-band that uh, supposedly will work better with the air band on it. It's also longer, uh, about 17 inches versus 12 inches with the other two. So I'm definitely getting a stronger signal with it. The tri-band antenna is making a bit of a difference. Don't seem to be getting the added interference either that I get when my hand's on the radio. So with the Bree, you could tell that when my hand, when I'm holding it, I get a little bit more interference with it. But this uh, Nagoya Airband seems to be performing a little bit better definitely picks up better like I said I'm right on the fringe distance on it so it 
Seems like it's worth it upgrading to that if you're going to be using airband for listening to planes and towers like this is. It, it makes a notable difference on it. So I'll just put the links to each of the antennas below where you can read up on them a little bit more. I'll have that in the description. And uh, for me, it's definitely worth going with the Nagoya to upgrade. Um, this Abri antenna seems to work really good on the other channels. Um, if you're needing just a dual band antenna, um, I get a little bit better reception than I do with the stock antenna, but not a lot of difference. But um, basically for all bands with this Nagoya, um, the 320A, it's a noticeable difference between the two. So, all right, if you like this, just please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. After switching these antennas out uh, a few times over the last hour, uh, just at r various times to see if it made a difference, I still got the same results. Uh, the stock antenna uh, did okay, but the uh, this antenna um, was worth the upgrade. It a little bit better with the Brie, and but it was a noticeable difference going to the Nagoya, the NA320. It uh, in the long run, it, the test came out the same as it showed in the earlier part of the video. It uh, performed way better for airband. So uh, that's just the results I got in the long term. So thanks for watching.